Oh, hopefully KOTOR is nice and works. So out of interest, I got a new monitor, which has caused me to have a look at <laughs> how KOTOR reacts to a flicking around changing resolutions differently with where my windows end up. But here we are, back again with Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And I sorted out the glitch by reinstalling and making sure when it's uninstalled, nothing was in the folder. So here we are. I think it's this one. I played a little bit just to check that it was working properly. Got a new monitor. It's 2560 by 1440p, the natural resolution of it. And I'm back, obviously, in a new place. If you're just watching this series, I have had a long break, which is the reason why I'm just going to continue on with Taris and finish that off. But yes, we get this finally properly. Go away. Tumba Three. Watch out, we got a badass over here. <laughs> and we can talk to him. And just say, sorry, I mopped up those black Vulcans. Nice work. I'm not looking for a fight, I just want to talk. And... Come on, I'm just trying to be friendly. Don't you want to be friendly? And basically he wrecks you. But... I want to just play it for fun to show you guys. You can't do anything against him. He's just so OP at this point of the game. For people that don't know. See, com instantly wrecked. <laughs> but, anyway. Let's continue on. Um, I can blast through that and be back in a moment. So what I might do, I saw how you mopped up them nice work. I'm not looking for a fight, I just want to talk. But then I'm going to say, okay, I see your point, I'll be off then. Smart! There we go. Big brain time, yeah. So I would say the, at least Vanna here wants to talk to him. And also, yeah, it wasn't my intention to leave this series for ages, but I just ended up really busy at the end of college before my break. And then also over the break, I had a complete break because I felt like I needed one to sort of reset, get ready for the next stage of life, that sort of thing. So yeah, continuing on, we've got Holden here. And it's been a little bit, so sometimes I forget exactly who people are. Oh, I know what you mean. You're the guy who put the bounty on Deer's head, right? You hear about that? I guess Zax must have mentioned me to you at the bounty office. Fair enough. I don't care who takes her out. 
Just so long as the job gets done, I can't let her get away with what she did. That one's trying to cut me with a vibro blade. Oh, I want the bounty on Dia's head removed. What? I can't do that. Think how it would look. I would have a I've got a certain reputation to uphold. I can't let her get away with this. There has to be payback. Although, I do feel a little guilty about all this. Dia's a good looking gal. It'd be a shame to kill her. Tell you what, I'll take 200 credits in exchange for lifting the bounty. Just because she's a good looking girl, come on, mate. Persuade, if you hire someone to kill Dee, it would look like you're not man enough to do it yourself. If I let her get away with it, I'll look even worse. She's got to pay, either with her life or 200 credits to buy my forgiveness. Alright. So, what I might do is, I won't just cheese it with saves, but I might wait until I've leveled up a little bit more with my charisma and that. To be able to persuade him. I told you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like band of poodoo. Oh, yummy. You see, you got a knife. It's always Rodians. Oh, I forgot to mute. Exiting the game and going back in. Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Nice. Yeah, that's. M we'll get introduced to her in a minute. But, um, if you notice a little glitch there, I had to alt tab out because I realized I didn't blow and mute the game on the one I was recording my camera on. I gotta get used to getting back into the swing of recording things properly. Hey, we speak of the same language. He just smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own language. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need, I'll be going now. You can ask her questions and that and find out her backstory. I'll leave that for you to play yourself if you haven't. You going? Yeah, this diet's pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the back base. <laughs> Uh, I also think, yeah, voiceover up, music down a little bit more. And we should be good. Because I was remembering that I turned that down a little bit before. And forgot that I did that since I had to reinstall the game to fix it. Right. Another hut! Surprise, surprise! And here we have Lin Seckler, and we can talk to him. I'm just gonna save it here. <laughs> Oh, 
Oops, why did I hit F12 by accident? I was reaching over for my phone to make sure it's on Do Not Disturb. Anyway, maybe I could be your partner. Ha ha ha. Uh, I'm good enough to get you through your audition. Don't screw this up, you say? That implies that I can. I remember getting sick of all the hutties around the place. <laughs> it's like, come on. I've read the subtitles now. And his name's Bib as well. Fun little reference. I reckon it will be a reference to Bib Fortuna. Uh, I'll join her by beside her. I can. I have to recall which ones are the correct ones for. I wanted to succeed because, of course, we're doing light sided. So help her succeed. Tang, this to Bongo Cookie Mac Baka. Sing Palachiska Mule, Tuna Rana, Nu Prata, Dunko Sicha, Duma, Wamama Tuts, Keva Toma, Nisha, Julorcha, King Kuno, Bule Rajiko, Shagji Kina, Lorcha, Watamwana, King Kun Shishikin, Nikin Kun, but you need to do something a little more. Best Ching Palamule, Tune Rana Nuprata, Donko, Search a Domatama, with Tim and Bonrang Thong. Search a Domatama, that's something. I never really studied the languages, other than there's some words that stick in your mind. And it's one of the things that I. Not really a polyglot as much, and. It's one of those things. Uh, I think it's close behind her. Yeah, that's right, because you sync this part. It's interesting, it's all with in game models, so. It definitely couldn't be more polished how it looks. Something for the remake. Hmm. And I guess since I'm doing this and the remake's been announced at this time, I can mention it. <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like, do I make this a little bit timeless or do I mention the remake? But I guess it'll be out. I'm reserving my judgment on it still. Like they say, it's going to be part of the expanded universe, but, um, anyway. I leave extra discussions like that for live streams a lot, so if you don't know, I stream over on Twitch, and I export the SWOTOR streams over here that I do weekly, um, um, so you can ask questions a bit more about stuff and hang out there if you want to. Shameless plug. Callum's Cantina. That's couldn't put an apostrophe and I couldn't put a space so it's Callum's without an apostrophe underscore canting I'll probably put something in post about that uh, very close and face to face I think is the next one because it doesn't succeed properly if you just do the simple beside her 
But you can take a dive completely. It's hilarious. That'll be for the dark side playthrough. Which I'm thinking I'll... Whoops. I'm sorry I did my best. Uh, so that mucks it up. That canonically I don't think would happen. I think he would succeed at it. So I'm reloading the save and I'm going to show the correct way to go through it. Oh yeah, Karth could level up. I forgot about that. Sure. So let's just blast through it. And you can keep retrying. I failed the first time. Because it's all dice rolls as well. So yeah, this is the first time I'm playing back to it. Once I've actually played some of the Star Wars RPGs and actually learned a bit more about the RPG dice systems and stuff. So yeah, it's cool. So I need to do the beside her first. And then I need to go behind her. I can run in circles while she dances. Anyway, um. That will go that part. Oh, I don't know if I'm just gonna pause. So, this is the part I'm mugged up on. Very close and face to face didn't work. Ruin the audition by taking a dive, so it must be dancing beside her. And that's enough to get her through her audition. Let it flow through you, the music. Haha. <laughs> Hey, she got the job. Okay. Not too many risks, I guess, is the thing. Believe it, kid. Yeah. Wow, she gave me a big hub, but I'm beneath her now. What a snob. Alrighty. And then we can talk to Zax the Hut. I didn't hear Zax in that at all. Are they really just faking a lot of the language? Oh, well. Basically, he's the one to talk about bounty hunters. Uh, you can talk about the Rackle Serum. Uh, tell me about the bounties. I can't see anything wrong with getting rid of people like that. As long as we don't end up on the list of their victims. Mm. 
with my mission. Come on now. Okay, I don't know about Davik's special contracts. Justice is one thing, but doing a crime lord's dirty work is something else. True. Yeah, cool. Got a bounty. Lie, tell him. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we faked his death. Cool. I'm gonna skip some of these when they go too long. I don't use blasters, they're uncivilized. Uh. Do remember to try and persuade him, right? You failed to persuade the heart. That's fine. I think I, every time I try to, just because I can try, but it's pretty much impossible at this point, anyway. Right. That's cool. We got that. Anything else of note? Gelrud, this is out. Okay, well, let's just go straight out. Let's do this thing. Oh, which way was I going? There's a few people still out here. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thack? I need Gaddon's help. I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gaddon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the hidden backs open. Who are they fighting? <laughs> Between the Sith conquest and the Vulcra gang war, Gaddon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Um, maybe I could be an ally against all those enemies. We do need all the help we can get. You don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you're going to let me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden Vex are watching you. Ooh. Who are they fighting? Aha! Battle! Why is it giving me the tooltip for cancelling actions? And that was Karth! Oh no, he looks exactly like Karth, but he's not. Right. So while I attack this guy now. Boom. Nice, got him. Oh, yeah, she came to help too, nice. Search all the remains. Because we can. Uh, before I go in to talk to Gatton, I'll we'll just walk down here a bit more because you guys are why not? With your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? So you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu Rana no Prata don't know Sarcha. I chew a penky. He says that Candrus is a Mandalorian. More on that once the conversation's done. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. 
I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. So it's interesting. It's candor is he. Oh, I thought he would be keep walking. Oh, you can talk to him, but um, he's Mandalorian, and yet it breaks sort of the stereotype that a lot of people would think of with Boba Fett and Mandalorians in Best Car Game and that sort of stuff, which is interesting to have like that different bit of like it's the old Republic, of course, are going to be a bit different, but also there's Mandalorians that don't wear the full armor in there. Those Valkers are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. All right, and you can ask him stuff about who he is, but... I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Davik's got me working on a special assignment. For the time I have, I'm just gonna continue on. Attack! You I really should have activated my shield. Oh well. I'll get a little damaged. So I was just thinking earlier. Oh, the sound. Yeah, sound effects volume is below voiceovers, so that's the main thing. Um, brain graphics. I can't change the resolution of the UI elements. Okay. I was going to see if I can make the subtitles bigger. But it doesn't even give the option for subtitles gameplay. Oh, difficulty level of combat. I'm just going to leave it normal. Uh, mouse settings. Key mapping. I'm just going to leave all that. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him. All right, let's speak yes, to you. What's on your mind? Is this a good time to ask you more questions? I say you could ask me questions later tonight. Is this really necessary? Uh, I mean, we're just in the middle of hostile territory, but yeah, sure. Not if you have a problem with it. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. This isn't an interrogation, I never said that. I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. Um, Masala doesn't, didn't have time. I wasn't into... Yeah, I'll just be honest. I wasn't in a position to know what was going on, really. Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast, it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And for what? And the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it. It's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm a scout. I was recruited into the fleet for my skills, if you must know. Well, that makes sense. Still, it seems a bit strange that someone who is a last-minute addition to the crew roster is one of the survivors. Hmm. You'd rather I wasn't. <laughs> You're ridiculous. You've more than proved yourself since the crash. We wouldn't have made it this far without you, but still... Are you implying I had something to do with the crash? You think I'm sus? No. Well, maybe. Don't get me wrong, it just seems odd that someone Bastila's party specifically requested a transfer aboard happens to survive.
Why well, would Basila request my transfer? The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but now they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your mm. connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I'm telling you, Kalth had nothing to do with the crash. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? You, you, are you always this suspicious? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone, and I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. Yeah, we're kind of not really in the best spot for a heart-to-heart -heart chat. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. Are we going now? Good. I don't have time for this fool. You need the papers for that, so I'm not even going to try just putting on the Sith armor and seeing what happens. Because they do want to verify that you are there. And so let's go back to the hidden back base that we were going to go in earlier. It's X to 12 your weapons, by the way. Let's go! And there's a bunch of dudes here. Hold Let me right talk there. to him. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Valkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Vulcans do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Vulcan spy. Vulcan spy? Oh, well. I like her! Head tails, how they have the bit of purple through it. Anyway, the Leku. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejik and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? I need information on Republic escape pods. The escape pods? No, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcans, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female mm. Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Well, she's alive. There we go. Bastila's a slave. What will happen to her now? Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Rezik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. Sweet Bryce, what does it have to do with that? I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual Swoop Gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Of course. 
Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then, when we can't fight all the gangs? The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. All right, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. What are you proposing? Swoop races for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. And how am I supposed to get inside? The Vulkers base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. Alright, where can I find her? She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the undercity, despite the dangers. Your best bet is to look for her in the undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith guard post at the elevator. Mm -hmm. I've got Sith, some Sith uniforms. A simple disguise might have worked on the upper city guard, but the security down here is much tougher. Yeah. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Hmm. Yeah, fine. I'll just trade them. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. He just repeated that. <laughs> Is there anything else I can do for you? I'll be back when I get the accelerator. You can ask him I more stuff. You hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. So, yeah. It's cool. You can ask more stuff, but the purpose of this playthrough isn't to go through every single piece of lore and show you guys it's a basic playthrough basically of the light side of what's happened in that and if you want to play it yourself then you can find out more information so we've got the papers now and we can head to the undercity boom 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 Oh, why are you doing that? Okay, that was weird. I got slightly stuck. I have to talk to him. There, civilians. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. I got my security papers right here. Thank you very much. Alrighty. You there, upworlder! Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Five credits. Really? A whole five credits? Um, who are you? What are you doing here in the Undercity? We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. 
here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive long enough to see another wretched day. This is mm -hmm. our village. We live here in the Undercity. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. You poor wretches. Here's 20 credits to buy some food and clothing. <laughs> credits, my brother. We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Vanna. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? Uh... It's nothing special. Because uh, I don't want her to envy it too much. And... It's all how, like, it gives her the impression. I mean, it's obviously better than this place, but... I would say there's more beautiful worlds to go to, personally, from what I know of Star Wars. Not to you, I suppose, but you're probably used to its beauty by now. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Uh, Rukil, who's that? Rukil is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the promised land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps mm. to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. The promised land? What's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukia. I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. Alrighty then. What we got here... Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. For your own sake, turn back. Danger and suffering? What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rukgore disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rukgores, we'll let them destroy each other. It must be something someone can do. Nothing Come on. Can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Rakgul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into Rakguls and attack them at any moment. So you just leave the infected ones to die? Yeah, I don't want to call their names probably. I'm going through those gates to try and help the infected ones. Um, I'll say goodbye Farewell. for now. Because we are after the Rackgul Serum and it will be possibly beneficial to look at that. Genda Rekill! You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to mislead us from the path? Are you the herald of prophecy? the beacon to guide us through the darkness or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises be careful this one might be crazy enough to be dangerous 
Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation what fate? or damnation. Speak, Upworlder. I beg you. Um. Uh, okay. Then, could I ask you some questions? Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused at times. Perhaps I can make things more clear. Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. And Venna, what do you want from me, Rikil? Once I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone too. What happened to your apprentice? My apprentice is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder, will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the Undercity? Her name is Malia. I must know of her fate, whatever it may be. I must know what she found. I'll help you with this. Finding her may be difficult. Malia could be anywhere in the Undercity. But if you will find her, I will know you to be our true savior. Only then can I reveal my secret knowledge to you. I'll be back if I find anything else. I wish you luck, Upworlder. Come speak to me again once you have discovered the fate of my apprentice. Hmm, and we can talk to the lead again, though. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Uh, you can ask him about stuff, but he doesn't have anything particular. You said something about other upworlders who came by here recently. I see that could be a good thread to go down. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. <laughs> Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission Vio. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. Oh, uh, how can I get to the sewers there are then? Two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the Rakuls and the other foul creatures. I'll be gone now, I think. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village and I will do my best to help you however I can. I don't remember talking to him a huge amount in multiple playthroughs because you can just run through and do it, know where she is anyway. Um, oh yeah. Hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. His Watch voice. Yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Is that the same voice actor as in Dragon Age? Oh, I knew that voice was familiar. I don't remember what character I'm thinking of, but the voice sounds familiar, and I'm thinking of Dragon Age. That's also EA and Bioware, so there we go. Let's see yeah, then. The best stuff, mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. All right, what can I sell to him? Blaster pistol, ion blaster, Volker shot stick. That's uh, clothing can sell. Right, um, what have you got? Retinal combat implant scope. 
vibration cell that could be useful. Actually. I might return to the hideout and just check what I've got modded because it's been a little bit. And what have I got in here? A vibration cell. So I don't need another vibration cell for now. A scope could be good. And anything for armor, right. At least that's an easy quick travel system and way to check when you're not in hostile spots. Uh, so if I get the scope and I think that should be fine. Cool. And so I'll just return here. Boom, bitty boom, go here and help Karth upgrade his weapon with a scope. Little bit more damage on that. It's nice that it's not so tedious that you have to go back and forth so much. Right. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rackles are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rat Ghouls are so near! Open the gate! I will kill the Rat Ghouls! You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> You're brave, Upworlder! I'll open the gate for you, but you gotta be quick! In a few seconds, I must close and lock it again. Let's go! It's only one of them anyway at the moment. Right, I forgot how tough they were. Because they poison as well. You get hit by them. So, by law, why is you get hit by them and you transform into one of them? Uh, but as of gameplay mechanics, that doesn't happen. So I reckon that w we must take some of the Rackle Serum ourselves. I can't thank you enough for saving me, Upworlder. If I had anything but these rags on my back, it would be yours. But we have nothing. I still have you, Hendar. That's all I need. Let's go back to the village. All right, let's heal up. Because I can. And then they're still there, right? Thank you for saving Hendar. You are braver than I, Upworlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. Perhaps Maybe. we can learn a lesson from your brave actions. <laughs> but enough of my ramblings. Is there something you need, Upworlder? Ah, uh, goodbye. Goodbye, Upworlder. All right. So... You only have the energy shield. He doesn't have an energy shield, surely he should be- Oh, yeah, I don't have much stuff at the moment. That's right. Sure. Make sure I save it. And away we go. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me, even the Bex won't help me. 
but I can't just leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? Whoa, whoa, slow down, mission. What's Who's going on? Zalbar? He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. All right, calm down, mission. Take a deep breath and tell me what happened. Me, me and Zalbar, we were just wandering around here in the Undercity. You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd rack ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorian slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. Uh, do you know where they took him? I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. If I help you get Zelba back, you have to help me get inside the Volcar base. Alright, wait here. I'll be back when I find Zelba. I think light side of would be more, I'll just help her, rather than set conditions for it. No way. I'm the one that got Zabar into this mess, so I'm coming with you. I'm not going to abandon him again. Uh, right. If I help, uh, I guess I have to set the condition. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, it's I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Now come on. We have to find Zabar before they sell him to slavers, or worse. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Alright, missions joined our party. What? So, noise. Um, sure. that'll help against rag ghouls. Definitely... Parallels to Han saving Chewie, for sure. Hey, there's an entrance to the sewers look like this but i don't oh that is lower sewers up oh, it's rubble i don't know where i'm going and also while i have played this before i haven't played it up to a million times to remember exactly how everything goes or which directions the best to go first or what i remember the broad strokes but not the specifics why not frag one now she's got good demolition i think it was Yeah, compared to... Yeah, she's got the best demolitions out of everyone, so... See if we can recover some mines. So what feats does she have again? Um... Right, because I seem to remember giving her a vibro blade. I'll have to keep an eye on what will be most effective for her for the auto leveling. Republic soldier. Sure. Help! Help me, please. I I can feel it inside my skin. Something growing like some kind of hideous disease right here let me see if i can help you no no i can, I can find something to help you. and there goes the rat ghoul plague yeah, let's make sure we she's got sniper shot and he's got power blasts. I'm being careful with these because, you know. Yeah, there we go. They do a lot of damage in their poison, so... It ends up... Pretty tricky to... Fight them if you're not careful. At least what I've found. Oh, I remember my thought 
earlier in the series as well with saving levels is people some people tend to save levels to put in later what okay this is one of the things i don't like is you tell them to recover the mine and then they run right into it what was that mission you idiot uh -huh. what <sighs> okay so what i might do is the return to hideout heal and back again I mean, it heals me, so why not take advantage of it rather than use med packs and all that immediately? And so we can have a look down here and see what's happening. It's funny how these Sith aren't immediately enemies. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? I have my papers. Look, I've got all the proper security papers. Security papers? Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? I should have given you an armed escort. It's nasty down here. We've already lost one patrol. We figure the rack ghouls got them. We've had so many encounters with those things, we've actually run out of rack ghoul serum. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Oh, it's interesting. I forgot that they had Rat Ghoul Serum that they were using. You said you'd lost one patrol already. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods, even if it means leaving another patrol to die. Why don't you just give up the search? I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. Alrighty. So basically, I'm going to explore all the way of up here and then go into the sewers. I thought I should poison him. Boom, boom, boom. They don't use their skills automatically, which is something that would be handy. Sure. Or like, they don't seem to. Yeah, cool. That got him pretty good. I probably should still save grenades and stuff, but oh well. I don't have any now. I will save grenades when I get them next. What? Nice, yeah, we're doing fairly well against them. I just need to make sure to tell them to do their abilities. Oops, car. It remains. Okay. Boom. Now, there was a glitch at one point where the character will not be able to move after exiting combat. And I hope that doesn't happen to me again. Because it's a pain when that happens. Alright. we able to deal with one fairly well, but there's multiple here, so. Let's see if I fight this one first. Get them to target this one. I should be able to do that. They killed her, so if I get her to do that, and him to do that... The blasters yeah. are quite effective against the Rackles. If Vanna can tank them. A level up 
Perfect. Let's go. Um, I want to make sure persuades up because it is good. And treat injury. Might as well put the points in things because I'm maxing out those anyway. Feet. Okay, cool. What do I want to get next? I want to get more powerful attack or offset the things and uh, caution empathy boom boom um yeah people will save up their levels and use it later toughness i think helps right because that's retroactive as well it gives an extra vitality point every time you level yeah good timing Corpse of Sith Soldier. We got Rat Gull Serum off him. Nice. So that's where you get it. Basically from... Oh, yeah. Okay, I wasn't doing the thing. Sewer Entrance. Okay, but we haven't explored... Another area. I believe that corpse as well... I have a look. Inventory all items, show new items. Okay. I. Bleh. Bleh. English. The journal for the missing apprentice is still hey, out Clark, in a different way. You're a pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm, maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Fixie's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. Settle down right now, both of you. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. Kids. Life's hard and then you have kids, right? You have to put up with them. Yeah, so I've got a bit more vitality. That should help me nearly dying from the rat ghouls there. All right, I've searched this rubble. There's another entrance to the saw. They're not far from the gate, which is where you can tell things are happening. There's Candorus again. Don't, don't move. I'm, I'm not afraid to use this blaster if I have to. Settle down, kid. We've already lost enough men to those damn rat ghouls. The last thing we need now is more casualties from a needless firefight. Mm. By the looks of you, I'd say you're down here for the same reason we are. To salvage something from those downed Republic space pods. Let me give you some advice. Forget about it. Do yourself a favor and just head back from where you came. Why is there danger down, some danger down here? This isn't a good place to stand around chatting. The Undercity is crawling with rat ghouls. I've already lost a half a dozen men to those monsters. Candrus, I heard something. Over there, in the shadows. Sounded like a rat ghoul. Here we go! Looks like we've got company. Get those blasters ready, boys. Cause it's terror! Time again. 
Gonna go into the night. Oh, it's terror time again. Do, 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 do. do. They'll be creeping through the... What? I'm just making stuff up, aren't I? There we go. Damn. I told Davik this salvage mission was a bad idea. His men aren't trained for this kind of thing, and I can't babysit them all. Okay, boys. We're getting out of here before we <laughs> lose anyone else. I can't carry all this salvage back by myself. You'd be smart to get out of here as well. Even if you can handle the rat ghouls, I doubt there's anything worth finding anymore. What do you mean by that? Davik sent me down here with this motley crew to scavenge whatever we could from the Republic escape pods that crashed during the recent battle overhead. But the lower city gangs got here first. Anything worthwhile in those Republic pods is probably in their hands by now. Davik won't like that. Uh, what can you tell me about Davik? What are you, an off-worlder? Everyone knows Davik. He's a member of the Exchange. You know, the Interstellar Crime Syndicate. Smuggling, gambling, extortion. Davik controls it all here on Taris. That's why I'm working for him. But lately, the lower city gangs have been giving my boss some trouble. I better get going Come now. on, boys, let's move out. Ha! Huh. He says boys and only one of them survived. Don't you mean boy? Boy. Oh, well, guess we're fighting more of them. At least once you clear them out, they're all gone, though. Alrighty then, you target that one. Seeing as we're being successful with blasters, you target that one. And we'll see how this goes. Yeah, nice. It does feel like the initial rat ghouls are trickier, but then I guess once you work out the best way to deal with it, then it's not quite as bad and watch me nearly die again. Oh, come on, why are you missing? There we go. Rubble and Outcast Corpse. So this will be the apprentice. Yes, Promised Land Apprentice Journal. And you can find it in your inventory in quest items, yeah. So you can read it yourself if you want to. It shows information about the Promised Land, which is cool. But they came from this direction and there is hardly anything here. Huh? Mission to recover the mine. Thankfully she didn't run into it again like an idiot. Yes. And we can head off to the sewers. Might as well go into this closer one. And before that might just return to hide out and heal up. Oh yeah, I don't have anything more for mission, do I? Like, she's got a blaster pistol. Hmm, I just gotta have a look now. She's got dueling, one hand of weapons. So I guess that's blaster pistol, not a blaster rifle, because you have to hold a blaster rifle with two hands. Yes. Into the sewers! Of course, there's a mine already. Yes. I'll make sure to do a save. Right. Rat ghouls, of course. Work out what you're doing, car. What are you even doing going that way? Right. Yes. Down you go. Yeah. 
Boom. Nice. Got him. And we started this way. I forget the layout of these sewers a bit. Gamorian patrol. Let's get him. Make sure we get all these mines because they can be handy. Yes. Promised Land Journal. So not just the apprentice we had before, but yeah, uh, we can reactivate this battle droid if you want help, but I don't think I'll worry about it for now. Boom, bidi, boom, bidi, boom. You can get him. I think Karth, you can fire at the other one. Damn, we gonna die, probably. Boom, go. Yes, okay, I didn't die. Only nearly died. Right, cardio regulator, fortitude plus two, handy. Got a heavy combat suit too. Then I can give mission the normal combat suit. Nice. Oh, mission's vibro blade. That's why I gave her a vibro blade and I remembered that. She has her own vibro blade. So I'm probably gonna end up using that with her. Sure. Hey, Zelba! I'm glad to see you too, Big Z. You didn't think I'd forget about you. Mission and Zalbar, together forever. These are my new friends, Big Z. Without them, I could never have gotten you out. Good to meet you, Zalba. I'm Vanna. Who <laughs> swear a life debt to me? A life debt? You sure about that, Big Thing? Think about it carefully. You better be sure about this. <laughs> There's a lot of Wookie growls. If you want to read the subtitles and I go a bit quick, then you can just pause it. Big Z swearing a Wookie life debt to you? Wow, this is major. Do you realize what it means? Uh, some kind of loyalty vow, isn't it? Life debt is the most solemn vow a Wookie can make. It means he'll stay by your side for the rest of your life. Wherever you go, whatever you do, Zalbar will be with you. <laughs> I'm honored to accept this vow. I guess this means you're stuck with me too. Wherever Big Z goes, I'm going. I almost 
lost him once. It's not gonna happen again. I'm glad to have you aboard, Mission. So, I guess I still owe you one secret path to the Volker base. That was the deal, wasn't it? Don't worry. I know a backdoor into that scum again. Good. The sooner we get there, the better. I better come with you. The Volkers put up a force shield to keep the sewer dwellers out. I'm one of the only non-Volkers on Terrace who can get you past it. I can't remember exactly how to get there, but I know it was somewhere here in the sewers. Over to the northeast, if I remember right. I just hope the Rancor monster isn't still there. Rancor? Are you serious? There used to be a Rancor monster that made its nest in that part of the sewers. It pretty much eats anything it can get its claws on. That thing is huge! Luckily, Rancors aren't too bright. I was able to sneak past it before, so I'm sure we'll figure something out. That is... Unless you want to change your mind. That's not really an option. Let's go. Okay then, off we go. Like I said, somewhere to the southeast. Just look for the force shield and we'll know we're there. Taba has joined the party. So I think I'm still gonna keep Karth with me. He just disappears instantly. Um... Yeah. Mission has level up. I do the auto level up. She got a sneak attack. Okay. I feel like the blast of pistol is working real well. Maybe I'll give her the blaster rifle and see how well that goes. Yes. Because I think I before I just saw oh mission's vibro blade. I'll just use that. Northeast, yeah. Let's have a look this way first. You Get wrecked, Gamorians, right. Weapons locker. I, uh, if I remember correctly, he's got a security. Down. Skill too low. Gotcha. Simple. Mission's got it. A, a bizarre card is Alba's bowcaster as well. Noise. Sure. We can give that to him later. I didn't want to set off the mine. <laughs> yes. There we go. Yeah. Lemon rat ghouls with the poison. Skill too low, come on. It's a minor frag mine. What were the others that you could do before? Sure. Can disable them at least. Alright, cool. I can return to hideout. Handy to know. Right, that was one way to discover it. I might as well do that and give Zelba his bowcaster. Which would be fairly effective inside of... With the Rackles and that, because he's ranged. Um, Mission's Vibro Blade, I don't have anything else for that. So, Buzz, Bowcaster, I have stuff for. Scope, I might as well put that on Karth's Blaster because I think I'm going to be using Karth a decent amount still. If I use Zalbar and not Karth, then I can do stuff. Um, actually, 
Give me mission of Vibroblade, and we'll just take Karth and Zalbar with us for a bit. Oh, what do you have? Improved power attack? So you shouldn't be using your... Sure. Bowcaster? I guess that's where you should level him up yourself. But it's like, okay, a little bit odd. Forgive you, missions Vibro Blade. Do you have... Don't have... Anything saying you have to... Single wield. So he could... Yeah, we'll just do that. And you can have Zalbar's bowcaster. Why not? Okay. So I will just take those two. Interesting how I pay attention to some different things after understanding some of the bits and pieces a bit more. All right, let's go. Rack goals, of course. Ready. What? Boom. It's interesting because theoretically Mission wouldn't be able to use the bowcaster because of kicks back too much and it relies on Wookiee's strength to be able to use it properly. But oh well, never mind. Get all the goodies from exploring. There we go. We're circling around anyway. Oh, he's right there. And then Karth, you can get the one behind there, actually. You get the one coming up there and she has line of sight on this one, so get him. Boom. Got him. Exit at the top of the ladder seems to be blocked with nowhere to clear it. Right. So there's that one. That's an opening. And that's an opening. Okay, let's back where we came from. If I go along here, it's a different direction. If they don't block my way. <laughs> nice. Carth level up. He has dual weapon fighting, so that makes sense for... He got rapid shot as well then. Cool. Yeah, he's definitely... Auto level builds him for blasters.
Oh, hello. Wrecked. I still yeah. just use their one more powerful one. Ha! <laughs> Gamorians. More like. Gadadians. <laughs>
<laughs> they fall so easily. Die. Oh, Senji Droid. Okay, we know we're getting closer to the base. Oh, malfunctioning droid, I should say. Doesn't particularly have to be a sentry. Lots of mines as well. What? <sighs> All right. <laughs> They're gonna die. Come on. Boom. I feel powerful. <laughs> Am I sort of picking up? What have we got? Nothing particularly I can give to anyone. Yes. I would like to get them more things. Oh, yes. Okay, here's where it is. This is a really cool part. So if you read the Beck data pad, which I didn't do the first time I played this, uh, it gives a note of they synthesize a pheromone that resembles the favorite prey of Rancors. What? And I also took note of that Mission has a high sneak skill. So I'm going to give us another save. I'm gonna go solo. No one's gonna see this. Use stealth and we're going over to this part because there is a rancor. Now the first time I played this, I managed to defeat him by just sitting at the door and chucking grenades at him. I don't know if I have enough at the moment. So switch to give item. We want to put in synthesized odor as well as a frag grenade, I think it is. And then it triggers this cutscene, which is cool. Kill him from the inside. Dead. Yes. And solo mode off. Level up again. Of course, I can't level persuade more. Dag nabbit. Awareness and treat injury for sure. Repair. Self, I don't really use much with him. I would save that point. Yeah, I batter down the remains. And that removes the body completely somehow. But in we go. Prepare to get wrecked, Volkers. And you can give me cover fire. Yeah. Ha ha.
Noise energy shields. And chewed corpse. Med pack, right. So now I can give them energy shields. Yeah, I don't have anything else. What? Into the black Volca base! Let's go! Journal entry added for inside the Volca base, yeah. And we'll need to find the prototype accelerator, that's the main thing in here. I've been recording for nearly two hours. Interesting. So you can activate this droid as well. That's good. I forget where enemies were, so... Excuse me while I plan this out. And there's one down there, yeah. Yeah. You asked for this. They have a club and everything inside. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be pretty wrecked. Cool. All right, mine. What? Sure. And I'll edit this down as much as I can, but for the full experience, I mean, I won't edit this like cut a lot. Because a lot of it's just all part of it. I'm also editing it to make it easy to read and all that. It takes time, so yeah. Just comes around the corner, starts blasting. Yeah, you did. Serve the food here, that's all. I'm not like these others. I'm not even a black Volker. Please don't kill me. How did you end up here in the Volker base? My name is Ada. My father owed Davik some money, but he couldn't pay. Davik killed my father and sold me into slavery here at the Volker compound to pay off the debt. Ada Wong? Don't worry. Uh. If I let you go, can you find your way out of here? Now that you've killed the guards who were supposed to watch me, I, I think I could find my way out of here. Nice. Hurry then, get out of here. I I'm free to go? You're not going to kill me? I, I don't know how I can ever repay you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have to get out of here before any of the Volkers see me. All right. <laughs> it's so fun when they just come around the corner and blast them. Nice. And I, I can't return to hideout in here, so you are stuck in here. Like, you can't cheese healing up through you just going back in there. Which makes sense, really. So if I go here, lower city, right? This is the front door to their base. If 
but we don't want to go there yet. I guess you could duck out the front door and return to hide out and heal up, but seems cheap. Armory, yes, please. Failure. Mission is better at those things. Interesting. Or just how the rolls went. Ooh, vibration cell and stuff. Goodies. Right. Now computer use. Who's good with computers amongst here? I'm still the best with computers, okay. <laughs> Fine then. Or vanneries. So it's a computer. Access security cameras. Armory. Switch to camera route. Barracks, alright. Overload power conduit. Yes, please. Uh, there they go. Uh, down. That would have been a fair bit to do otherwise. Rec room, pool. There's a droid in there. Garage elevator. Oh, yes. Shut down the elevator security. Nice. I have plenty of spikes because I haven't used them a lot. Oh, I have seven of the spikes. But that was the main one I needed to get as well. And then him. Right. Access system commands. Uh, I'm just going to leave that, I think. Because we can unlock doors with yeah. security and stuff. And that'll be good. Gotcha. Black Volker. Righty-ho, then. Yes. Oh, he is fine. He surrenders. Oh, yeah, I remember this dude. What are you talking about? You're a Volker, aren't you? Back when we had honor. If you hate Reggie so much, why don't you leave the gang? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let you live. Go on, get out of here. Mmm, it's interesting because it makes me think of Mass Effect and how they added in the person that surrendered, but then actually was doing all of the experimentals of the scientists that was doing all the things. All oh, right, yeah, you're still here. So this is a barracks we exploded the conduit in. So much easier to do that. Get these supplies, all the good stuff. 
Nice. I'll make sure to get this bit of the map filled out. I could upload the area schematics, but I don't see a reason. Oh yeah, this part. I remember. So if you just go, what are you doing? Ready. If you just go into it yourself, you get poisoned. Yes. And everyone's an idiot and walks in with you. I've got good repair skill on this character. Uh, repair. No one else has good repair. So, sure. I'll do that with reactivate the droid and program you to crawl in and set off the traps for me. Thank you very much. Then we're good to run in, grab the stuff, and we're good to go. Cardio regulator, who needs a bit more fortitude. Um, probably. Oh, she's got the self field generator, so I'll give Car the cardio regulator. Yes. Nice. I need to unlock the security door, didn't I? Oh, was I looking at the wrong way? Two sewers? Garage elevator. Okay, I need to go around the other way. Um, hey, Carl. Can I, can I talk to you for a second? Are you ready to have a civil chat? Or is this going to be another childish tantrum? Tantrum? I'm trying to apologize, you nerf herder. Ugh, I mean, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get mad at you. I'm sick of everyone treating me like I'm a helpless kid. Yeah, I know. And I'm I'm sorry about what I said, too. I'm just a little on edge, like, not surprising considering all we've been through. You shouldn't take it out of you. It's about time you two made up. <laughs> I like the other option. What's with all the apologies? I was hoping for another fight. Yeah. Mission, you have to know that we don't think you're helpless. Look where we are. Look at what we're doing. You're not just along for the ride. We need you. You really mean it, don't you? Nobody's ever said anything like that to me before. Not even Big Z. He might think it, but he's not really one for words, you know. Thanks, Clark. Well, it's not. I, mean, I know it is. Sometimes you just need to hear a few words of encouragement. Kids. Kids are like that. Listen, you. <laughs> oh, I get it. Okay, you got me. You're pretty funny, Car. For an old guy. Come on, geezer. Let's get back to what we were doing. Right. So. I should come around here. I forget. If we needed to slice the. Elevator door or we're fine. Now we're fine. Let's go. So there's a bunch of stuff here. I'm gonna give us another save. And let's see what we got. Let's kill all these guys. Well, they're not really a guy, it's a droid, but still. Cause up here is not the way to go, yeah. I was just checking all the rooms. Do you remember the loud of this a bit? Cause you replay it a few times and you good. <laughs> Boom and yeah, just shoot him. Let's go. Of course, it triggers people over here too, so you have to be aware that they're getting triggered. 
And we don't have too much health at the moment. Maybe should use med packs after this bit. Hopefully. Oh, they killed her. So you go here. Yeah, I probably should have used energy shields. What? Well, it's just some... All right, he's kicking ass. Carthus is gonna save the day. You gonna do anything, Carth? Fine. Yeah, there we go. Carth is just carrying the team right now. Right. Sure. Cool. Yes. I'm gonna go here first rather than where the mines were. Where is our position? Okay. Mission. Ready. Let's see people, right? Sure. Sure. Oh, well, they dropped easy enough. Nice. Alright, I'll save before this because I can get my security spikes back if there's nothing useful in this terminal. Right, slice in camera's garage. Overload sweep box in garage. Okay, I guess you can sneak through. And a garage office, that's here. Loading bay. Engine lab. Okay, there they are. That's in the other one. The access system commands. Yeah, okay, there was nothing decent there, so I'm just going to load the save. There was stuff I already knew from previous playthroughs, of course. But there you can see that Brezier can co- uh, in the other room basically in the other direction of course it doesn't really give you context of where each place is when you're looking at the cameras it just goes oh yeah that's the the camera huh? all right let's retrieve these mines Oh, I had to wait before I clicked it. What? I go left. <laughs> I have a feeling I forget which side was it. Oop. Ready. 
What you doing, car? Uh -huh. Right. How'd you like that? Down you go. Nice missions got to level up. Yeah. So what's it leveling up for? Uh, scoundrel's luck. Oh. Okay. It was this side there on. Reshik stole that engine from Gadden. It was never yours to begin with. Um, I didn't prepare for this properly. Kachichu Aitha Odunga In King Kuno Bamuli. That's right, I'm not one of the backs. My name's Vanna. I'm not worth a uninong. Wanga Kun Beast King. I'm not working for you. Forget it, I know all about you, Black Volkers. Mana Mana Tota Akuchi Gratuk Bola. Jishok. Forget it, I'm not going to betray Gaddon. Kill them all, huh? Alright, let's all just start off by... Making sure we shield ourselves. And you can shoot that one first, but I'm going to shield and then shoot. Who am I going to kill? The bodyguard probably first. They're a bit tougher than the other guys, it seems. This doesn't look like it's gonna go so well for Vanna. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay. So, Karth is gonna try and get him. Let's. You know, let's just go for a power blast on him. And. I'm about to kill the bodyguard, so let's just get them both firing at him. And hopefully that should work out. Yeah, okay. You asked for this! That was easier than I thought. I remember having more trouble with that previously. So I'm actually quite happy that I managed to do it. Huh? I mean, they're all fairly low health, but hey. Super Accelerator's just sitting there on the ground. <laughs> what? Right. And also, there is a workbench in here. I think it's on this other side. Let's see. Yeah? Sure. 
Kill this guy. Before he can do much. Nice. Got him. So you see the swoop here they've got as well. Yeah, there's a dude in there. He may put up a bit more of a fight. Right. Great, yeah, there's a workbench. Even on low health, they're not killing me, so that's good. Right, I was gonna have a look here. Fully upgrade that, and we got extra stuff for that. Yes, cool. I guess I could use Mission's Vibro Blade as my secondary, but I did give it to Zalba. And there we go, we've got it, the Sweep Accelerator. I forgot just how long Taris was. I think I'm going to leave it soon. Because this is the two hour mark. Now, have I explored down here? I forget if I've explored the apartments. I'm pretty sure I would have. Yeah, that's right, because I did explode Matric. Well, not Matric. Because he survived, but they faked his death there. Oh, there's more enemies. Oh, yeah, I did that puzzle too. Ah, wrecked by a hail of blasts of fire. That's what I like to see. Oh. Nice. I don't think I've been in here if the enemies are still there. They're empty, so I guess I have been. I don't recall revisiting these after I've already done the things in them, so there is that. Other than I revisited the upper city ones just because you tell like Dia that you removed the bounty on her head and stuff. I might just end up paying the duty if my persuasion fails a second time. But anywho. Um, let's go. Probably to the cantina. I think by now my persuasion's leveled up as it will be from the look of it. Oh, yes, he had some cards. That I wanted, right. The plus and minus ones. What I might do is just return to hideout and we'll go and deliver that rat gall serum to the doctor, tie up a couple of loose ends. Have we got more stuff to be able to upgrade missions vibro blade? Yeah. There we go. And we'll be able to do stuff. Oh yeah, I'll have a bunch of stuff to sell too. Oh, there's Dia, isn't it? Yeah, let's tell her that that's done. You're back. Did you 
Did you manage to get Holden to withdraw the price on my head? I spoke with Holden. I did it. He, he called the bounty off? That's wonderful. I only wish I had something to give you as a reward. Wait a minute. I know. I don't have many credits, but there is something I can give you. It's a family heirloom. It's not much, but it's something. Keep your reward. Helping you was thanks enough. I can never truly repay you for helping me, but you'll always have my thanks for what you did. Um, yeah, the family heirloom. Keep it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Resistance versus cold and fire. That's what this armor does anyway. A clinic. We can do more of the jewels, but I'm not going to yet. I think I'll save that for another episode. I'm definitely going to solve because this has been a long recording. And probably a long episode. I will give you the Ragdoll Serum. Back. Are you in need of healing or medical supplies? I can treat you right here at the center for almost any condition, except the Ragdoll disease, of course. I have the serum to cure you it. You have the serum? Impossible. How did you get this? No, wait. I don't really want to know. Can... Can I see it? The serum, I mean? I need to see if there is enough for me to analyze it so I can start producing it in mass quantities. Here you go. Let me see. Yes, this is it. A cure for the Ragghoul disease. With this sample, I can make enough serum for everyone. The people of Terrace owe you a debt they can never repay. Please, take this small reward. It isn't much, but it's all I can afford. A few credits and two spare med packs. Yeah, you can persuade him to give you more, but it's like, keep it. You need him more than I do. I've got plenty of credits. And I've got heaps of med packs, so keep your reward. You truly have a noble and generous spirit. But you deserve something for your effort. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount whenever you shop at my store. It's the least I can do. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, I'll take a look what you got. Step over here and I'll show you what I have in stock. I so you got a buy antidote, poison immunity, Rackle serum. You can buy it. I think that, yeah. I know what I'm using that for. It's interesting, you can just buy it at his shop afterwards, but yeah. Um, nerve enhancement package. He does immunity for a couple of things, but not too much else. You blew it. If you'd brought that rat ghoul serum to Zax, you would have made it worth your while. No, you had to go and do the honorable. I'm just going to go to the shop over here. I think I'll leave it there for now after I look at this shop. Ah, uh, maybe you can get him to open up about it. Speak to Car. I want to discuss something with you. Fair enough. What do you want to discuss? I want to discuss the... We didn't finish our conversation last time, yeah. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stop watching you being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. Not built that way? That sounds like an excuse. Maybe so, but I've been betrayed before by people. I just want to have it again, that's all. Of course it won't happen again if you never trust anyone. Look, I'm not trying to insult you. This is just the way I am. No need to take it personal. I'm getting to one uh, right. And how am I supposed to know that you won't betray us? Yes, you. Why would I trust you after all? You shouldn't. If you're smart, you won't trust anyone. Not me, not Bastolo, especially not yourself. Ah, uh, so you don't trust yourself, is that it? I don't You sure you don't want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk about it. But I want us to save the galaxy, if that's even possible. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it for now? Can we pick it up later if you really must? I'm, I want to get underway. 
Oh, mission scene system. Okay, we're going to talk to companions for a while as we go. Hey what can I do for you? I want to know a little more about you, mission. Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Uh, where are your parents? Don't you have a family? It's my family, you know. My parents, well, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Who'd want to pick a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, but there were three of them. So maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway, I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, Leave him alone, you core slimes! And charged right at them. One of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. Sorry. Uh, you're lucky he didn't <laughs> fry you with a blaster, yeah. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those vulgars didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. What did the other two Volkers do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was going to rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never listens. Just stay up wind when you speak it and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? Hmm, how did Zalbar end up on Terrace? Well, he was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashi. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not for what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. How did you survive before you met Zalbar? What's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take care of myself? I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. In fact, I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. You should get back to the task at hand. I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Cass rubbing off on her. She doesn't want to talk about it either. I'm gonna leave this here. I'm just gonna go back in the hideout. Thank you guys for joining and watching for KOTOR. This has been long, so I don't really have time to continue going. And I hope you enjoyed this a long episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Next time, we are definitely gonna get off Taris. I wanted to try to, but I didn't remember that it would take it this long to do so. So, yeah. Don't forget if you enjoyed it. Click the like button, it uh, helps out the algorithm. Leave a comment, interaction's always good. I love having interaction with you guys, and commenting and whatever. Um, I'm playing how I'm playing it a bit, so if you got tips and stuff, then I'm happy to take on tips, but otherwise it's just like, well, you just backseat gaming a little bit too much and I won't worry about it, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Anyway.